This is a short demonstration of how to create a project in QAC on the desktop from a IAR embedded workbench project. So I have uh, the QAC GUI open at the moment and I'm going to select new project and I'm going to tell QAC where I want to put the new project and I'm putting it in the same directory as my IAR project. So I'll select that. I'm going to go with the defaults for the analysis configuration file and rule configuration file. And the CCT is a compiler compatibility template. And this is a file that tells how QAC should behave for the particular compiler I'm using. So I have a IAR ARM compiler. And I'm using this compiler. I just need to select the one for C as my project contains only C files. The project has now been created and the project properties dialog has been opened. There's quite a few settings in here, but we won't go into those at the moment. Uh, we'll have some other presentations later that will show you uh, what all these different tabs do and how to configure the project in more detail. At the moment we're just going to populate the project and analyse it. The easiest way to populate the project is to use the process monitor to monitor the build of the project and extract all the build information from the compile lines. So to do that I'm going to select synchronize and the synchronize command works from a build command that uh, compiles and links the project. So if I had a, a batch file or a script that ran my project build I could call that. Alternatively I can just open up my IDE and compile my project from the IDE. So I have a shortcut to my IDE here. So this will open up the IAR IDE. I don't want to analyze my code at the same time as synchronization, so I want to show that separately. So now the uh, workbench is opening up and I can go and open my workspace. So there it is there, there's my IAR project. We'll open that. It's one of the uh, simple demonstration projects that comes with the, the workbench, so it only contains one, uh, one source file. But that's okay for demonstration purposes. So I'm just going to uh, rebuild all. So we've rebuilt our project there, and as the project was compiled, we can exit that now, uh, QAC in the background was detecting the compile processes, detected that main.c was compiled, and has added that to the project. If you go and have a look now, it's added the file and it's also added the include path as well that was used when the file was compiled. So we can now go and run our analysis and we can see that uh, analyzes nicely with no syntax errors and we can go and have a look at all the issues in our code if there were more files being compiled, they would have uh, appeared here as well, along with any build parameters such as include paths and uh, define directives. So this gives us a really easy, simple way to import our projects into QAC and analyze them extremely quickly.